Hello everyone. Greetings from Quest Zero. Today's session, I will look into a cantilever beam, which is subjected to an uniformly distributed load, P naught, and we are trying to find out the deflection, the maximum deflection that occurs at the free end using a Rayleigh-Ritz method. This statement goes as a cantilever beam of span L is subjected to uniformly distributed load of P naught over its entire length. The Young's modulus of elasticity of the beam is E, and moment of inertia of the section is I. Derive the expression for the deflection using Rayleigh-Ritz method. Now, with the very first step is to formulate the potential energy functional. The potential energy functional potential energy functional is given by you know the formula pi equals strain energy plus work potential but for beams for beams strain energy is given by Ei over 2 integral 0 to L for the entire length dou square u by dou x square whole square dx okay. and the work potential is since it is an uniformly distributed load it will be an integral from 0 to L p naught u into dx. Now, substituting these, we will be able to obtain the final potential energy functional as Ei or 2 pi as Ei or 2 0 to L dou square u over dou x square whole square dx minus integral 0 to l p naught u into dx. So, this is the potential energy functional. Now, the second step is we need to assume an approximate displacement function which satisfies the boundary conditions. So, uh, let me call this as equation 1. So let, let the approximate displacement function be So, we are assuming a trigonometric function. So, u which is displacement is equals to a constant a minus cos into pi x over 2L. This let me call it as equation 2. So, applying the boundary conditions to verify if it satisfies applying the boundary conditions. x equals 0, u is equal to 0. So it does satisfy when I substitute x cos 0 is 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. Hence, u is also equal to 0. And the second boundary condition is at x equals 0, dou u by dou x is also equal to 0. So, dou u by dou x is nothing but it gets converted to sine. So, sine 0 will make the entire term 0. So, the assumed displacement function now satisfies both the conditions, the boundary conditions. So, the assumed displacement function 
the assumed displacement function satisfies the boundary conditions so maximum displacement also occurs at the end at x equals l so maximum displacement occurs at end of the beam so at x equals therefore at x equals L U is Y maximum. Now we got Y max or U. You know what to substitute in equation one right here. Now we need to find out dou square U by dou x square to substitute in equation one. Differentiating equation two. differentiating equation 2 equation 2 twice partially with respect to x what do you get dou u by dou x is equal to a sin pi x over 2l multiplied by pi by 2 into l. So, if you open the brackets, it will be a minus a cos pi x by 2l, a is 0 when you partially differentiate with respect to x. So, you will be left with minus a cos pi x by 2 into l, which is nothing but plus sin pi x by 2 into l multiplied by pi by 2l, which is what we have written. Now, differentiating this again, dou square u by dou x square will give us a cos pi x by 2 into l multiplied by pi by 2 into l whole square. Let me call this as, okay, now let me call this pi max as 3 and this as 4. Okay. Now, substituting the value of from 4 and 3 in equation 1, what do you get? Substituting u is y max. Wait, now we need to substitute the approximate displacement function 2. So, substituting value from equation 2 and 4 in equation 1. Substituting values from equation 4 and 2 in equation 1. What do you get? So, we get pi equals e i over 2 integral 0 to L a cos pi x over 2 into L multiplied by pi over 2 into L whole square, entire thing squared, multiplied by dx minus 0 to L p naught, what is u, a into 1 minus cos pi x over 2 into L dx. Now, simplifying this further, 
taking all the constant terms outside ei over 2 0 and 12 a square plus 2 into 12 to the power of 4 cos square pi x over 2 into 12 dx minus p not a 0 to l 1 minus cos pi x over 2 into l dx now integrating the terms that are inside we we'll obtain this as ei over 2 a square pi by 2 into l to the power of 4 we need to convert the cos square form into the cos form which is integral 0 to l p not sorry half 1 plus cos pi x over l into dx minus p not a 0 to l 1 minus cos pi x over l into dx This is nothing but e i over four a square pi by two into l to the power of four. I've taken the half term out of the integral, so I'll be left with x in integrate sine pi x over l and that thing divided by pi over l. Limits zero to l minus p not into a x minus sine pi x over this two l two into l divided by pi by Two into zero to l limits. Simplifying this further, we become e i by four a square pi by two into l to the power of four. Substituting the limits, when you substitute the upper limit, it becomes l. This term becomes zero. Minus everything becomes. Zero minus p not a upper limit is l minus entire term becomes zero and not uh, when you okay when you substitute the upper limit it doesn't it will be l minus so pi by two is one so it will be l minus two l by pi. And when I substitute the lower limits, everything becomes zero. So now we need to. This is the potential energy functional. We need to now minimize the potential energy functional. So minimizing the potential energy functional. So when you minimize, there is only one variable that is present. Do pi by do a must be equal to zero. So do pi by do a will be equal to e i by two a. This I can make it as pi or I'll keep it pi by two l two. The power four l minus p not l minus two into l over pi equals zero. So when you sub substitute it further, e i I'll keep every term on the left separate e i or two pi. 
by 12, 2 into L to the power 4 into L A is equal to P naught into L 1 minus 2 by pi. Right? Now, <coughs> substituting the terms further a will be equal to 2 to the power of 4 is 16 16 multiplied by 2 is 32 32 this l and this l gets cancelled the l will be left with l to the power of 4 p naught divided by e into i pi raised to power 4 and right here it will be pi minus 2 by pi or keep it as 32 p naught l power 4 e i pi raised to power 5 pi minus so this is the value of A. Maximum displacement, maximum displacement Y max is given by equal to A and A is nothing but pi minus 2 32 l to the power of 4 p naught by e i to the power uh, pi to the power of 5 so when you substitute for pi and simplify you will get y max as l to the power of 4 p naught entire thing divided by 8.384 e i so this is the final solution thank you in the next session, we will begin with the Galerkin method. Until then, take care. Thank you.